In this video, we're going to share with you six AWS CI CD pipeline projects from beginner to advanced that will not only challenge you but also will help you to gain the confidence and the hands on experience you need so much. In order to get the most benefit from this tutorial, we really recommend you to stop everything you're doing, sit, watch, and learn. And once you finish this amazing tutorial, try each and every project and if you're hitting a roadblock don't worry because we're gonna release a tutorial for each and every project you're gonna see today so subscribe now so you won't miss a thing welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching so let's start with our first cloud project with ci cd pipeline with github action to aws ec2 instance so this is the first level the beginner level of ci cd pipeline uh, with the DevOps focus. So what you're going to do here, we're going to push a commit to GitHub repository and with GitHub action, it will trigger deployment to AWS EC2 instance. And if you ask yourself, what is GitHub action? So GitHub action is the continuous integration and continuous delivery CI CD platform that allow you to automate your build, test and deployment pipeline. You can create workflow that build and test every pull request to your repository or deploy merge pull request to Production, it's basically a CI CD platform that allows you to automate your deployment. And if you're asking yourself what is CI and what is CD, don't worry about it, I will explain it soon. So let's continue with this uh, beginner project. So, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna push a commit to GitHub repository that will trigger our GitHub action, and GitHub action will change the security group it will add ip because if you know with aws you can ssh to ec2 instance without have your ip in the security group once you're gonna add the ip it will run a ssh or bash command that will pull our change and then it will remove the ip and that's it it's very simple github uh, action and very simple ci cd uh, pipeline especially for beginner and if you're asking yourself, okay, so what is exactly the GitHub action? Like what is the comment? Like what you need to do? So this is how it looks like. Well, as you can see, it's a basic uh, YAML file that have the instruction to our GitHub uh, action. So let's go over that uh, quickly. So as you can see here, the comment on the YAML file, we first have the push. So we're gonna trigger this YAML file every time we have a push to our branch master. It can be also pull request, it can be other branch. Once we have this trigger, it starts a job, the job is deployed. This is how we name it and this is the step that is gonna happen. First, we're gonna pull a Ubuntu latest image so we can grab our IP of GitHub. Okay, we need the IP, if you remember, in order to enter the to our security group. So this is the first job. Next. We're gonna add the GitHub Action IP to our security group that our EC2 instance is attached to, okay? And once we're doing that and we have SSH access, then we're gonna uh, deploy the code to master. And if you want to have like more information how to do it step by step, I created a YouTube tutorial specially for that, GitHub Action Automate Node.js deployment to AWS. Very easy, very simple, very good beginning for developer who want to understand how ci cd pipeline work with a very simple project and by the way guys we just want to update that we are working on mastering aws cloud course it's like aws bootcamp for beginner where you will learn aws cloud by building and deploying scalable web application using three different architecture the most wanted and demanded architecture of aws you have the ec2 instance architecture you have the serverless architecture and you have the container architecture this course is designed especially for beginners who want to gain the confidence of aws end zone and get hired easily you can check it now in the youtube description below so let's go next to our second cloud project with CICD pipeline with GitHub Action and AWS Lambda. So it's basically um, the same as we saw uh, just one minute ago. Again, it's beginner uh, project who want to understand how the GitHub Action and the deployment uh, automatically work with AWS and also with GitHub. So here we have a AWS Lambda function that we're gonna update every time we are pushing to github repository the github action will kick in 
will zip our uh, lambda function and will upload the zip file to AWS lambda and once it's up we have AWS gateway that is connected to our AWS lambda and the user can see the change so again it's like beginner CICD pipeline with github action very easy very simple this is just like the first step so you will understand like you're gonna put your hands on and you're gonna learn like how it's work and here is another a github action yaml file so as you can see right here every time we're pushing a code to a master branch we have a, a job that running deployed to lambda so again we're pulling the ubuntu latest image we're setting our aws credential and then we building our a lambda a function and after that we're running a deploy the deploy is first zip the project that we have because this is how AWS Lambda work you need to zip your project and then we're using AWS uh, a clay command with AWS Lambda to update the function so it's very simple very easy CI CD platform especially for beginner who want to get a hands-on experience and understand how to work with AWS and also with GitHub Action so please try it by yourself and don't worry if you're hitting a roadblock we're gonna launch a youtube tutorial about how to do that so subscribe now so you won't miss a thing so let's go now to project number three ci cd pipeline with github action and aws code deploy so this time we're gonna combine github action with aws code deploy or aws ci cd pipeline tool until now we use github action to do our ci cd pipeline but now we're gonna go one step ahead of the beginner step and we're gonna mix both of them okay and in this project i also will explain you what is continuous integration what is continuous deployment and what is continuous delivery like what is the meaning of ci cd pipeline as i said at the beginning so it will be easier for you to interact and understand and better realize what is devops job and what you need to do so let's go with continuous integration ci so continuous integration is a DevOps software development practice where developers regularly merge their code, change into a central repository, after which automated build and tests are run. And let's go now to continuous delivery. It's a strategy in software development where code change to an application are released automatically into production environment but after manual approval okay this is continuous delivery and you also have continuous deployment that it's exactly the same as continuous delivery just here we don't have manual approval it's automatically deployed so let's go now to our third project with CICD pipeline with github action and AWS code deploy and in this project we exactly doing the same with github action but this time we're giving the github action the ml file more command more job to do with the continuous integration we give them the command to build our code to test our code and we can also uh, publish our code but it's not uh, always necessary uh, this is the continuous integration those are the steps that you have in this uh, ci pipeline build test and publish uh, our code our artifact file and once we finish with continuous integration we're going to continuous deployment here for this example it's automatically approved okay and this is what you need to build a ci cd pipeline that build test our code and then deploy it automatically using aws code deploy okay and once me we are moving to the continuous deployment okay to the cd part of our pipeline this is where we're doing the deployment and this is where we putting our code in the production staging development environment basically and test them and make sure everything okay in this example we can deploy to auto scaling group with aws cc2 app server and if you're asking yourself okay it's look great but what like how we make it happen so here we are using again a github action yaml file and as you can see every time we push a code to our main branch we're starting two different jobs the first one is the continuous integration the second one the continuous deployment so the continuous integration what we're doing here we're setting up our python code then we building the code we're doing install dependency with the pip install our requirement after that we are configuring our aws credential so we can do the aws code deploy and once we setting all of those then we building our code okay and run a pytest or run a test okay this is the sci cd 
uh, sorry, this is the CI part of our pipeline. Here we're not pushing artifact code, we're just doing build and test. After we finish all of that, we start in the continuous deployment and it also depends on the continuous integration. Otherwise, we are not going to this step. So this is what makes it strong and beautiful what makes sure that we're always pushing the right code to our production environment. So once we are finished the continuous integration, we start in continuous deployment. We're configuring again the AWS credential with the access key and secret key. And then we're running the code deploy a deployment with AWS deploy, create deployment, and all of this, uh, all the comments that related to the AWS clay. And this is basically our third project with CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Action and AWS Code Deploy. So we really recommend you guys to try it by yourself and build a CI/CD pipeline. And don't worry if you're hitting a roadblock. We will release a solution soon. So subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's go next to project number four, CI/CD pipeline for Node.js app. And this time in our project, we're not going to use GitHub Action anymore. We're going to use all the CI/CD pipeline tools of AWS with code commit, code build, code deploy, and code pipeline. Code pipeline is similar to our GitHub Action. It's managing all the CI/CD uh, cycle. And in this project, it's again, now it's a little bit one step ahead of beginner. And you also have your continuous integration and continuous delivery, as I explained earlier. And what you need to do in this project is very simple. But before we go ahead, let me just explain you what are the AWS developer tool that we're going to use. And it's better for you to know and understand. So we have the other that we are using in order to push our code. It can be AWS Cloud9 or it can be even your Visual Studio. And here we have the main tools the developer are using for the CI/CD pipeline for the DevOps part. So we have the source that is AWS Code Commit. It's like the GitHub repository. After that, we have the build part that is AWS Code Build, and also the test part that also belong to AWS Code Build with third party. And we have the deploy part with AWS Code Deploy, and all of that is get managed by AWS code pipeline that is basically like the GitHub action that you saw earlier, it's managing everything. So let's go back to our project and this is a very good project for beginners who want to uh, learn CI/CD pipeline using AWS tool. So every time we push in code to our code commit, it start our auto code deploy, that the code deploy doing a build and a test. But this time we're using continuous delivery and as you remember, Continuous delivery, it means we need a manual approval to deploy our code. So we're gonna connect SNS that will send us an email. And after that, we're gonna approve it manually to go next to the code deploy step. And all of that is basically managed with code pipeline that is give the code deploy a comment to start the deployment that will do the deploy to our Node.js app, our EC2 instance. And this is basically the project. It's a little bit more than beginner, but still it's not crazy. It's something that we can do it. And what is special about this project is that we are using all of AWS CI CD pipeline ecosystem. So we really recommend you to try this project. And if you're hitting a roadblock, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to release a solution soon. So let's go next to our CI CD pipeline for container project number five. And in this example, it's again, we are using the same AWS uh, CI/CD pipeline uh, ecosystem, but this time we have two main difference. The first one is that we are using continuous deployment strategy where everything is automatically deployed without our approval. And the second one is that we are deploying an image to Elastic Container uh, Service and not to EC2 instance. So as you can see, this is basically how it works. We do in a push to our code commit repository. The code commit trigger the code pipeline that it's pushing a code artifact to our S3 bucket. And then we it trigger also the code build, the code build taking the artifact and build the image from that and push it there to Elastic Container Registry repository or ECR. And after that step finish, code pipeline trigger the last step of code deploy, the code deploy taking the image that we just uh, pushed, that we just built and deploy it to our EKS cluster or to Elastic Container uh, Service. And basically once it's finished deploy, our user is able to enjoy a new version of our project, of our web app. And again, this project is also again is special because we are using AWS 
CI/CD pipeline ecosystem, so it will give you all the experience and hands-on you need in AWS. And we recommend you guys to try it by yourself. And if you're hitting a roadblock, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're gonna release a solution soon. Okay, so let's go next to our final project of CI/CD pipeline with CloudFormation. This one is a little bit more for advanced and not for beginner. You can see it's a little bit more complicated, but again, it's something that we already saw before. It's not new, especially in our uh, previous tutorial. So here we are building CI/CD pipeline with CloudFormation. So we're taking the first CI/CD pipeline that we just built and attach to it infrastructure as a code, as a deploy option. We already explained this project in one of our previous YouTube tutorials that you can watch after this amazing tutorial. But in short, what we are doing in this project is using CloudFormation to build our infrastructure in AWS. So let's go back to our last CI/CD pipeline with CloudFormation project. So here, as you can see, we are using the same AWS CI/CD pipeline with code commit, with code build, with code pipeline, with code deploy, with doing a uh, pushing and taking our uh, code artifact. And basically uh, it's very similar to our previous uh, CICD pipeline, but this time the code deploy, instead of deploying our code, is deploying our CloudFormation stack that is trigger our CloudFormation. And the CloudFormation engine is start to work and deploying our uh, infrastructure as a code and here we are using cross region rule in order to deploy our infrastructure in different region in our AWS account. Uh, we have region one can be India and region two can be uh, USA. And we basically building and launching our infrastructure. We are testing them with our new uh, code, checking that everything okay. And after we're done, we can kill all of those services, all of those uh, infrastructure in order to save some money for future uh, use in our AWS account. And don't worry if it's looking a little bit complicated or more advanced than what you usually uh, see. This type of project are used in the industry with uh, expert DevOps, but also beginner. It's not super complicated when you understand the AWS CI CD pipeline uh, ecosystem and how cloud formation work. And we really recommend you guys to try it by yourself. And if you're hitting a roadblock, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're going to launch a solution for this amazing project very soon. And by the way, guys, you can visit our YouTube channel where we already share uh, those AWS services that we just revealed in this uh, tutorial. You can learn and you can start beginning your AWS journey. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.